It's like, don't see, like, whoever you wasn't with, with, like, it wasn't alignment with you where you can be in alignment with your success, all right? But, like, you letting go of certain places, people, and things really align you with, you know, allow you to be that responsible person that you know you could be wholeheartedly when you show up fully to your highest, you know, capability, 1010, all right? Um, and aligning you with supportive rich and old money and bring you affluence where man is worth it is worth this it's worth the separation and it cannot be done without certain separation you feel me all right yeah some of you guys though are really facing the battle of seduction lies you know you have to like really be strict um especially when it comes to your organization you can be disorganized with things all right um or dealing with someone who's disorganized or full of lies and it's like somebody can be trying to impose their um you know their values on you and it, it don't align with you and it's like uh -uh. it ain't gonna work all right their values may take you off your throne you ain't got time for that 11 11. All right, there definitely is some type of insecurity. You got to be careful. People who are insecure. Some of you guys can be struggling with infertility. Some of you guys can have a lack of confidence. All right, uh, which could lead to a lack of growth. All right, um, there's some, some type of disharmony or negligence that you really need to really focus on. Get yourself into alignment, connected to the earth, and remind you that, you know, abundance is limited, but like, you gotta align yourself with it. You gotta be real. You gotta be responsible and make some tough calls to do what's necessary, right? So, yeah, you're having a hard time moving on, uh, which could lead to some type of stagnation, or you guys have some type of stagnation because the fear of moving on. Um, and so, you guys could just really be something that you share a lot to deal with, all right? On, or they could be accepting that and realizing that, like, you a lot to deal with. And it's okay, like, you a big package for some, you know, for some people. It doesn't mean you should shrink yourself or, like, make yourself small just to fit someone else's criteria, all right? Or fit in someone else's world. Like, you're not meant to be small. So, you know, don't allow yourself to be small to make others feel comfortable, all right? Yeah, the bottom that we have the full. It's time for you to really allow yourself to take that leap of faith. You know what I'm saying? And be spontaneous to, towards a new beginning. All right? You could be lacking commitment, and that's what you need, baby. It's time to em em embark on a new, a brand new you, a brand new beginning, a brand new journey, a brand new slate. Some people are gonna hate, but that's not your fate to stand still. All right, your fate, your fate is to go get it. Ten of Pentacles to be, you know, wealthy and sustained, stable for you and your line, you know, generations to come. If you would just allow yourself to align and receive it and be it, and yeah, I think you're gonna do that, boo. I really feel like. Once you stand in your confidence and just shake off those insecurities, it's your own. It's all yours. All right, so let's see. Trust your instincts. Animal guardian, we have trust your instincts. So you guys could have a really special connection to the animal kingdom. You could be receiving signs and confirmation and synchronicities uh, when it comes to animals. All right, but you're being, your guys really want you to trust your instincts at this time. Like you know what you know. Trust yourself. Trust your path. Hermit, we have retreat and recharge. So you definitely need to trust. Some of you guys have been feeling the need to like pull back, gather yourself, recharge, re replenish your, your energy, your thoughts, your, you know, your health. And that's definitely what your guys are signaling you to do. Like, do that. Trust your instincts. Pull back, recharge, retreat, reorganize, you know. Gain a new perspective than necessary, but align yourself with this kind of penalty. Wow. 
We have our medicine mother, Anna, your inner knowing. Yeah, baby, you know what you know. Trust it. Star ancestor, follow the voice of your soul. You a star, 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 star. Meant to be a star. You are a, a descendant from the stars, all right? So do not count yourself small, all right? Don't, don't play your small for what? Nobody's making it out alive anyway, and you're not here to play it small. You ain't have to take a seat on the bench for a little bit. You know, gain new perspective, recharge, replenish. Once you re up your energy, gain that perspective, align yourself, get out there, take some risks. Don't play it small. All right, follow the voice of your soul. All right, you a star, star, star. <laughs> All right, um, protection, guardian, drop your shield. You are highly protected. Highly protected, that's awesome. Autumn, you're being asked to release the old and rest. Okay, so between now and autumn, definitely make sure you shed off what is no longer necessary and get yourself some rest. All right, stargazer, set your sights higher. Spirit wants you to think big, real big. Set your sights high because you are capable of achieving all of that and then some. All right, we have magic guarding. Uh, unlock the magic within. The magic is within you. Trust your instincts. Trust yourself. Trust your path. Heart guardian, love and let yourself be loved. So you love, but allow yourself to be loved, all right, by loving you and, you know, allowing um, genuine love, healthy love to, you know, be in your life, right? Mountain, stay in your ground. You're going to face some things. You could be facing some things. But ain't no mountain high enough to keep me from getting from you, babe. Ain't no mountain high. Ain't no valley low. Ain't no river wide enough, baby. Oh, I forgot about that song. I mean, like, whatever you going through, stand your ground. I mean, like, I feel like somebody coming for you. This is a beautiful love. Some of you guys who are already in union, like, Ain't nobody mess this up, break this up. Some of you guys, um, you know, take what resonates with you. Um, don't force it. But and then some of you guys, there's somebody um that's like, you know, after you like facing this mountain, you're going to align yourself with a love that's like, uh, ain't no valley low enough, ain't no mountain high enough that's gonna stop me from getting to you. All right. What's for you can't miss you. I was saying that beginning, right? What's for you can't miss you. Let's get into the monology. Look at that. First card that came out is a win-win outcome is forecast for Moon and Libra. All right. So winning, 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 baby. Believe in the impossible, blue moon. What was not possible before is now possible for you what's been possible for others is possible for you there could be a once in a lifetime opportunity something you've always dreamt wished for it is possible and here for you baby so believe in it receive it and um enjoy it you know you and your loved ones are safe no more than cancer your commitment is being tested first quarter moon Adjustments are required, third quarter moon. And show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius, okay? All right, so let's get into your fortune. Don't be pushed by your problems, be led by your dreams. Lucky numbers is 12, 24, 31, 10, 47, 15. And we also have, it's a right to have butterflies in your stomach. Just get them to fly in formation, all right? So everyone experiences nervousness, but just allow the butterflies in your stomach to fly in formation and get in alignment with this beautiful destiny that awaits you, all right? Lucky numbers are 49, 28, 9, 54, 6, and 13. Peace and prosperity to you. 
thank you for being here don't forget to show some love and i'll see you soon Ashe.